Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Pokemon has given us something. We have a Pokemon Direct dedicated to the new Pokemon games coming out soon. And today we're going to be watching that together. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done kind of a reaction to one of these. This, I'm particularly excited about this one because they haven't given us a crumb of news about this game at all since they told us about it really. So, hopefully today we get something cool. I'm just going to jump right into it. We got a little bit of a long one today. So, let's do it boys. It's time. I'm so excited for this. Hello everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. The COO. They better give us First, some good updates. So, like honestly, personally, I'm just hoping for something that will make Diamond, Diamond and Pearl stand out. There's really... The if it's a one-to-one -one remake, there's nothing crazy about that that is going to get people reset. excited. You know, they have to bring something new to the table. In Obviously, there's going to be Unite things here. Um, has begun mobile release, that's sweet. Mobile release is going to be really interesting with that game. Except all the mobile players are going to ruin everybody's games. <laughs> but what I'm truly hoping for today is to see if they're going to make anything stand out about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. There has to be a new evolution. There has to be some type of mechanic. Dialga Palkia forms. There has to be there has to be something that they got to give to us. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license. I already got my Zera Aura, of course. The Unite of course. license can also be used in the mobile version. I have been streaming this game on Twitch. Link in the description. Take you to my Twitch page. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Okay, hold up. Mamoswine? What? Let's go! The boy face paint is coming to the game. Okay, that is sick. That is lit. This is gonna be like all rounder. Sylveon? Oh my god. Nice. So we knew Blastoise, but I thought they were just gonna show us Blastoise. My god. Lit. Mamoswine and Sylveon. Interesting, interesting choices. Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite. Where's my boy Metagross at, though? Now, I'd like to share some news about That's kinda lit. our other games. Yes. Bring us the other games, boy. Okay, cafe mix? Not what I was ready for. I'm expecting there to be, you know, probably about Welcome 10, to 10 minutes total of, of Brilliant and Diamond in, in uh, Legends Arceus. Pokemon cafe remix. Of course, Legends Arceus is the is the big hitter, but I think if they can they can redeem Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl today, if they give us just something, something to look forward to, because people don't like the graphic style already. They have to they have to bring us something. I personally am excited for it because Gen 4 was a fantastic time for me personally in terms of nostalgia. So the art style in this game is actually kind of lit. I like it, but it's like it's like Candy Crush for Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea what this game even really is. So it's a remix. Okay, Pokemon Masters, two year anniversary. I don't personally play this game, but I've seen some good things about it. It's unfortunate it's not actual gameplay footage. Celebrates its two year anniversary. Dynamaxing is here. Crazy has already been out for two years. Young Eternatus, though. I really didn't know how you're supposed to actually pronounce that thing's name. Okay, so they, they're, give, they're giving a little something to everybody in this direct. When I saw how long this was, I was like, okay, they're they're going they're going hard on this. Okay, I truly don't really care about about this game, but. Only mobile Pokemon game you catch me on is Pokemon Go and Magikarp Jump. This, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did play the hell out of Magikarp Jump though, for real. Alright. Alright, give us something good here. They're probably going to wait till the end to give us something crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh. So come join us in celebration of this special. 
special anniversary. Pokemon Masters also, EX. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems. All right, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. They're getting, they're getting people excited, getting people to hop on. New, okay, some Pokemon Go. New Pokemon will appear in Pokemon Go. I think that they've already announced most of this. Right? Celebrating its fifth anniversary, will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. Yeah, so there's just certain Galar Pokemon. They've already showed this uh, this trailer before. Okay. And Antic has been doing a shit job with Pokemon Go in general, but that's a discussion for a whole nother time. Unless, I don't know if I feel this way, but unless the Pokemon coming out to 5-star raids can be shiny, I truly don't care. <laughs> like, I just don't care to catch a reg- like, I'll, I'll literally do one raid to get it for the dex entry, and then if it can't be shiny, there's no reason to ever do it again, so, I don't know. The Pokemon Go news has been stale as hell. Bring me back to summer 2016, boys. Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. That's us, boys. That's us. Those are the boys right there. My guys. Okay. Bring me the gameplay footage. It's going down going down show me a tree quick <laughs> I need to see the tree texture something about that click sound is nostalgic all right she's looking polished shiny ass floors Rowan looking weird though I just don't know how I feel about the graphic style but I mean, they, it looks like they've done a good job with it, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, the swamp is back! <laughs> no, the Great Marsh or whatever, just the certain areas. Weasel running up to you? Okay, oh, following Star After? Hold up, Pokemon can follow you guys, hold on. Hold up. Following Pokemon back? The background texture was what people saw before. You're seeing the different uh, day cycles, which is interesting. All the textures look much better. Ooh, yo, okay. Personalized battle environments, love to see it. Stickers, yes, the stickers are back. Were they like seals or something? Yo, <laughs> best feature of the game for sure. The union room, throwback to the union room. That is very nostalgic for me. That's when I started Wi-Fi battling. Oh my God, you can get swagged out. Okay, different, nice. Contest, could not give a shit. Um, the outfits, though, kind of nice. Of course, they have to bring the contest back, because that was kind of a big part about Dominant Pearl, I guess. But yes, the underground. We already knew that this was making a return. Um, the underground is actually sweet, though, because this would be kind of cool for her Wi-Fi interaction. This is something I never was able to do much as a kid. I would do it with like my friends in person and stuff. Pimp out your base. Your base? OK. Whoa. What was this? Quagsire just chilling? Yo, you can make like, hold up. You just run up to a Munchlax in the wild? Look at the background environment though. Okay, I really hope, I really hope that they make shiny Pokemon visible from the overworld. That's one thing I really care about. Shiny hunting needs a, needs a comeback. Because in Sword and Shield they did a terrible job at giving us fun ways to shiny hunt. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee was sweet. Why didn't they just keep that? Okay, look at this battle room, this is wild. Valley Windworks, throwback. Ooh. It's the boy in space. <laughs> right, so we got the Lake Trio Pokemon. Cynthia, the homegirl. She's going to get absolutely bodied now. The fairy types exist. Sorry about your Garchomp. Okay, show us something about Dialga and Palkia. All will end and everything will begin. Ooh. Okay. Is he gonna hit us with a title screen? Wait. They're just gonna title screen us, aren't they? Well. 
You know, what they did show seemed way more polished and ready than it did previously, but still, like, nothing outstanding that's, like, new. I mean, I, I get it's a one-to-one -one remake where it's generally just going to be the same. Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized That's actually games. crazy. It's only three months away. After 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon I feel so Diamond old. And Pokemon Shining Pearl. The water be looking nice, though. This adventure takes place in Floroma the Town, region. nice. A Mount Coronet. Rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon. Okay, interface they kind of held true to what it originally looked like. Your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, passed down through the generations, and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. <clears throat> yeah, really nothing new. I mean, the game looks good. Like, the graphics look this good is to Professor me. Rowan, is that tree looking kind of sus over there, though? He's a famous professor <laughs> researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon Okay, I think from what they Pokemon. originally showed us, which was just... Some small stuff like the background of the battle environment. Rock it looks the like they've done a lot to make it a lot better. Journey. He uses rock type Pokemon. Everywhere you I'm, look, one thing I'm truly wondering is if up to something. like Wi Fi battling is going to come back on this game. Because with Sinnoh, or with the, yeah, with the two Sinnoh games that are coming out with Arceus, like what is the world champions going to be played on? The world championships, like the actual VGC tournaments? You know, it'd be interesting. I just hope they bring back the singles timer, man, for single battles, please. That's all we need is a good singles timer so I can get back into Wi-Fi battling, making Wi-Fi content, kind of getting back to my roots on what I used to do. Yeah, these are all just like little side features. I mean, it's cool. Okay. Apparently... The Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your Sinnoh right, base. Alright, that's kind of cool. It seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be Look found how small that space. Onyx is. Hello? So be sure to fully explore the grand underground spread out the Why was that Onyx so small? Sinnoh. Please, someone tell me. <laughs> you can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear the when The stickers are cool, I, I, I guess. I, I mean... Such as confetti or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations. Where was the ones that had the words pop out where you can make it say them, something? You can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. One new feature that was not available in Pokemon yes. Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Where I truly hope they give enough on your adventure. Outfit choices. Okay, kind of a fresh beanie though. In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of Super the contest shows, really? You playing Guitar Hero out here now? I mean, nobody cares about... There probably is people that care about that contest, but... That boy Absol, though? This release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. It is good that they decided to go back to the Union Room, man, because all the other ones have been booty. Many other trainers. You can walk around with yes. any of the Pokemon that yes. appear in these games. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with that boy Tangrowth. <laughs> nice. Okay, so hopefully, I mean that's pretty cool. They know people want that, but like. Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. Yeah, waterfall animation looking nice. I see you, Lantern. Okay, so the coolest thing is that your Pokemon can follow you, which isn't new or that crazy, but, I mean, okay. It's Please wait, just pretty much holding true to, I guess, what a one-to-one -one remake should be. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite, Dialga, and Palkia edition will also be released to okay. celebrate the launch of these games. 
This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up... They're really going to make me buy a new Nintendo Switch, huh? Dialga and Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx, Dialga and Palkia edition, that was released back in 2006. I was going to say, that's, that's the same design as the DS Lite. Holy shit. It will shit. be available to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look forward to it. Okay. Next, okay. we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yes. Which Bring me all the information. Come on, you got you really they really have to wow us here, or the internet's gonna be pissed off. <laughs> I do like the starter choices though. Interesting. My boy Rowlet. I'm going with Cyndaquil for sure. I don't know about Oshawa's clown ass. Okay. Please tell me there's been a lot of development for this. Sneaking up on him, okay. To me, this looks really cool. It it does kind of look unfinished. I don't know. It looks similar to like Breath of the Wild. But like look at that grass texture right there. It's just like Whoa. Okay, old time cities. I think it's a really great concept. And just with Okay execution, it could be a great game. Sick. Sleeping, Buizel, don't wake him up. We need to see some mechanics. Okay, she. Whoa. You just throw. Okay, yeah, I think we, we, you just throw straight at him. Actually, what the hell is that? Hello? What's wrong with that Growlithe? Okay, so you can't battle. What happened to this Growlithe? Is my boy okay? They got like the old school Pokeballs. It's like shoots out of the firework. <laughs> Actually sick. Someone please tell me what happened with that Growlithe. Whoa, okay. Graveyard looking weird, but flying us around. Hold up. This game does look beautiful. Riding the basculin? Big ass basculin? Is that, what is, what is that? Sauce butt? Stantler? Looking, got different forms? Okay. They did my boy Stantler right, finally. Hold up. Ooh, it's going down. I bet you Arceus is in this game. Oh, made him, made him all evil. Okay. Whoa! See, so there's, there's like some stealth action to this game. You gotta like... I just don't understand what the difference is between battling and, and having to like run it. Whoa! Watch out style. I don't know about the red on the eyes. It just looks like they just overlaid circles on there, but okay. Nice. Old school growling. <laughs> Is that how you use fly in this game? I'm assuming that's surf. Alright, this actually looks really cool. They do a great job with these trailers. This, fi this, this is firing me up, I'm not gonna lie. If you can watch this and not be excited... What was happening there at the end? Not actual gameplay footage, okay. Got a little animation style going on here. Okay, so they gave they gave us a taste of some new stuff. We saw some new Pokemon forms. We saw a lot more of the landscape that looks great. Some of the more me interesting mechanics, like the styles. I don't know. That was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. They're gonna tell us. They're gonna hit us with it. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Pokemon 
Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui, during a long ago era hmm. when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. So it's not Sinnoh yet? Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. Just tell me if all the Pokemon are... Did you see that glaring uh, wheezing the up there? First ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. How many Pokemon are in this? The bustling Jubilife Village will be the base for your adventures. OG Jubilife? Sick. The Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Okay. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology oh my guy, What is my guy wearing? He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. <laughs> Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. So she may seem to treat you Damn, harshly. Damn, pretty evil. Down, she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. There's something fishy going Captain on with her. Sinnoh oversees the entire galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. Okay. Survey outings? Interesting, the so... The Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure. And in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Just basically just like filling out a Pokedex, essentially, right? the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic Ooh, materials. you got a craft? Okay. Made in two heavy region, balls. Interesting. Find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. That Lexio's going for you. Oh. Your attacks and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. That's pretty cool. Okay. If Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. So no Pokemon centers. Just go to base camps. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Thornpole can't evolve. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. We have seen a pretty wide variety of Pokemon in this, though. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when uh, they don't want to hurt you, he chill. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, oh. so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you Ooh. approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. That there Shanks is angry. Okay, yeah, you gotta weaken certain ones to catch them. Him, or you can just try to throw a ball. I don't know. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon, and a battle will begin. Nice. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. What? You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles: strong style what? and agile style. Using a move in the strong style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power. But the we love some new mechanics. Raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. They're really throwing style, a wrench into the OG Pokemon turn-based battle row. style. I like it. Strategy, a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing the times you've seen it use quick attack, times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. So it's very much just like quest based, which is cool. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in yes. the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. 
This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer. Falls from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of the Hisui region. Stantler got a new form, boys. With the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. Grandpa Stantler. Pokemon is Basculegion. Basculegion. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in okay, the so school that an evolution. during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. What? There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the, the Hisui Braviary region. just had different colors and like glasses on. What the hell? With its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. Nice. So there's going to be a because lot more Hisui forms that they're not showing us here. Can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. It's psychic type. Psychic flying? Okay. Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. My boy can't see a thing. Very Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisui and Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator. Get this guy a haircut. To stay active and lively even in this what does the Arcanine look like, though? The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily. So Hisui and Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. Is it made of rock? What? The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story. But what connection does it have to your adventure? Something going on with that tree. The tree of life. The day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. The Basculin actually looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Basculin is another Pokemon that really needed an alternate form or an evolution or something. And so hopefully my boy Dunsparce gets something. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon nice, Legends nice. Arceus, Pokemon November 19th. Uh, and then we've got January. Nice. We can, January 28th. Hell yeah. 2022. We'd also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Arceus, the cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile devices in 2022. Keep an eye on our okay. upcoming announcements for further details. Alright. They gave us a lot. They gave us a lot about Arceus. I, I like the new mechanic. As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to We hope you all have fun participating in even more Oh, okay. Play. They're just leaving. They're just leaving it in Those Sword and Shield, which did answer my question. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon which adventures to come. Which kind of bums me out a lot. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. But to be fair, like they had just with a game like Sword and Shield coming out with so much preparation, it hasn't been out for long. They have to give it its proper amount of time, but like, ranked battles will not take place in either of these. These are very much, they feel like side game-ish. But I'm actually really excited about both of these. I think that Legends Arceus has a lot of potential. And it looks great so far. The graphic-wise, the open world, the new forms, the new battle mechanic. I think that they, they've, they've done a good job giving us enough... To keep us excited, um, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl could give us some more, but I mean, it's just going to be a remake on the Switch with better graphics. So, I mean, that's pretty much how it's going to be. But I'm still excited for both of these. You, you best know, you best believe that I'm going to be playing the hell out of these here on YouTube and on Twitch. Um, so leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. It's a lot to take in, um, but I'm really excited. I, I'm, I'm happy with what they gave us. I think that, you know, they, they pretty much uh, met expectations there. So let me know what you thought. Um, I'll be interested to kind of see the comment section about this and, uh, I will see you guys later. Peace out.